In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a product to your product catalog in PowerStore 4. As you can see, I just installed PowerStore 4, and now the next thing I'm going to want to do is to start populating my product catalog. So to add your first product under the Products menu, choose Add New Product, and you'll be taken to the Product Insert page. Anyone who's familiar with PowerStore 3 will notice that this insert page has changed significantly. We've now moved this to a tabbed interface to make it easier for you to complete the fields. And we've also made it so that only the product name and the price fields are required in order to save the product to your catalog. So it's much easier to add a product so that you can revisit it later to make more changes. So as you can see, I've already populated the categories. You can do this by clicking the New Category button here to be taken to the Categories page, or you can do that beforehand under the Products menu. So the, for this example, I'm going to add my first product, which is going to be a t-shirt and the price is going to be $19.99. So then I'm going to want to so then I want to select the categories that the t-shirt is going to be listed under. I'm going to list it under clothing of course and if I hold down the control key I will also select t-shirts and so that way on the results page when your customer filters based off of clothing or t-shirts they'll still see this product. And So that's all I need to enter for right now and I'm going to click save. And on the product results page you can see that the product has been saved and I have a view and store link that I can click to take me to the front end and I can actually see this product. Now this is default, this is just placeholder content that, I, that has been entered because I didn't complete all the fields yet. But this gives you an idea of what the product is going to look like. First thing I want to do now is to insert an image. So let's go back to the result, results page in the store manager and choose update for that product. And instead of the default image that we have here, I'm going to click browse and I'm going to choose the first image for this product. And once selected, click Update. And now you can see that that image has been uploaded. And on the live site, when you review this product, you can, you'll now see that that product has been added to the detail page. So now that the basic information has been inserted for this product, I want to add more detail and the first thing I want to do is add product options because this t-shirt will be sold in three different colors, three different sizes, as well as a long sleeved and a short sleeved option. To begin adding product options to this t-shirt, I click the add product options button here. So when you first choose to add product options to a product, you're presented with information regarding advanced options and simple options. You know, it's important that you understand the difference between the two and which is best for the type of option that you're adding. The main difference between advanced options and simple options is that you, would only ever need, you only ever need to use advanced options if that specific option will actually change a product detail. If my red t-shirts were going to cost more than my blue t-shirts, I would make the color an advanced option so that I could specify different prices for the red t-shirt versus the blue t-shirt. However, in my scenario, colors and sizes will, will not affect price, so I can simply make them simple options. Now for the other option that I have, which is the long sleeve versus the short sleeve option for the t-shirts, I'm actually going to do an advanced option because the long sleeve t-shirt is $5 more than the short sleeve. So I need the ability to change the price if the customer chooses that they want to purchase the, sh the long sleeve t-shirt. So let's start by adding the simple options. So I'm going to click Add or Manage Simple Options. And on the left, I'm going to enter my first options. So my first set of options is going to be the color. And then I'm asked what the default value for this option is going to be. And the default value is going to be the first value selected when the product is viewed. My default is going to be white. And now you can see that white has been added under the color options. I'm going to add some more values, just two more, blue and green. And then I'm going to add my size options. And this time the default value will be small. Then I'm going to add the other two options and large. And so when I'm finished you can click finish at the bottom of the page and you're taken back to the update page for the product. So as you can see on the update page, nothing's really changed because of adding the simple options. But if you view the product on your live site, you will notice now that we have two drop downs, one for color and one for size. So your customer can choose whichever option is best for them. So let's now add the last option, which is the advanced option. Back on the update page, I'm going to choose add product options 
and this time I'm going to choose Add or Manage Advanced Options. So I'm going to enter Sleeve for the option and add this option. And the default value is going to be Short Sleeve. And the other value is going to be Long Sleeve. And click Add. And when I hit Finish this time, I'm going to go back to the Update page and we'll see a change. So now I have a drop down at the top which allows me to choose the type of product that I'm going to edit. So if I want to make changes to the short sleeve versus the long sleeve, I simply choose that option here. So first I want to make a change to the long sleeve because I need to enter a new price. So to change the long sleeve price, I simply enter the new price here, which is $24.99. And that's really all I need to do because the only, the only change here is going to be the price for the long sleeve versus the short sleeve. But you could enter different information entirely for this product. In addition, once, adding, once you've added an advanced option, you can actually have a conditional option specified. A conditional option is an option that is only displayed to the customer when they've selected a specific variation of the product. So if the customer chooses to purchase the long sleeve t-shirt, I could present an additional option to them. For example, let's say the long sleeve t-shirt comes in a collar versus a v-neck. And so when they choose long sleeve, an additional option would appear that's, that asks them to choose if they want a v-neck t-shirt or a collar t-shirt. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to add a conditional option in this example. I'm just going to click Update. And now we can click View in Store to see what this product looks like in the store. And as you can see, the product detail page has now been updated to contain all three of these options. And when I change from short sleeve to long sleeve, the price changes to be $5 more. So that's how easy it is to add products and product options to your PowerStore 4 catalog. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our other videos and have fun with PowerStore 4.